Paragon Software Group is a leading provider of disaster recovery, virtualization, migration, deployment, and system optimization solutions since 1994. We help our customers reduce server downtime and improve their backup and DR strategy, leverage and manage virtual environments, and improve the performance of their storage systems, data centers, and applications by optimizing partition structures and alignment. Welcome to this product overview of Paragon Deployment Manager 10. Today we'll take a look at remote deployment features such as session-based deployment, multicasting and unicasting, integrated PIXI and DHCP server, and deployment console. Imaging features include the hard disk manager and adaptive imaging tools. Paragon also supports Microsoft SysPrep, scripting, and files update. Deployment Manager supports most Windows operating systems, file systems such as NTFS, FAT16, FAT32, Linux, and Apple HFS, and hardware devices such as Solid State, SCSI, RAID, and USB devices. This is part two of the three part series. In part two, we will focus on the Boot Media Builder, customized startup environment, drivers, and scripting. Let's continue the Deployment Manager overview by looking at the Boot Media Builder, which is a utility to customize and build the Pixie and CD based boot media. In this utility, we can load additional drivers, configure our network settings, and customize the startup menu. After the welcome screen, we will select to create a new boot media configuration. There are two boot up environments that we can select. One of them is a Linux base based off of Linux SUSE 10.2. The next is a Windows pre-installation environment based from Wake or Windows Automated Installation Kit, which is required to create the WinPE environment. With this advanced media, we can support virtually any hardware with Windows drivers. In the following window, we have the menu options for the boot media. The first item we have is the server driving mode. The server driving mode allows us to create a session on the server, and if a client joins using this mode, it will immediately pick up the image directly from the server. This mode is ideal for multicast and full automation of deployment. The client driving mode allows us to initiate sessions from the client side. This mode is optimum for initiating one machine at a time or to image a one-off system. In other words, a unicast. The manual mode grants us access to the hard disk manager and the simple restore wizard in the Pixie environment. This is for if you need to capture a new image or create a differential update of an existing image. In addition to the default menu items, we can add additional items by clicking on the Add button and naming our new custom task. With this custom task, we can point it back to the script file that we generated earlier with our hard disk manager. This unique feature allows us to carry out more than just deployment from the Pixie environment. On the bottom, we can select the default item to start automatically. This is ideal for having machines immediately boot into Pixie and start the session right away. Here we set up the network properties for the Pixie environment. In this case, we'll leave it on automatic and it will pick up an IP address automatically from the DHCP server. We can always input in a static IP address if your environment requires so. We can mount a network share automatically by providing a UNC path and also the administrator username and password. This is ideal if you have a network share that you need to access to throw your backup on or to retrieve an image from. In the server driving mode options, we can set the session ID for a server driving mode. This is ideal for running multiple sessions at the same time. In addition, we can clear out the hard drive before deployment, hide partitions after the deployment, check file system integrity, and assign script files to be run before the deployment. In the client driving mode options, we only need to specify the server by name or IP address and specify an image to deploy. 
Next, we can load additional drivers for hardware support. This includes network drivers and storage card drivers. It's ideal for third-party hardware that's not automatically detected. Here we can add additional files to the boot media and save this to the default configuration. In the final screen, we can choose what we want to do with our boot media. We can write it to a CD or DVD, create an ISO file for later use, or create a Windows imaging format that can be fully integrated and compatible with Windows deployment solution. And last, we can update the Pixie image to our Pixie server automatically. And the building process can take up to several minutes. This concludes part two of the deployment manager overview. Please view the remaining parts of the series to see all the features and functionality that deployment manager has to offer. For additional information including sales or if you would like to receive an evaluation copy of the software, please contact us at 888-347-5462 or email us at sales underscore USA at paragon-software.com. Thank you for viewing this Paragon Software Group presentation.